Welcome back guys and today we are talking about a name who's definitely need more recognition. His name is Mark Dean. He was born on March 2nd, 1957 in Jefferson City, Tennessee. Now as a little kid, Mark Dean was always into building new contraptions and he was very smart in school. In high school, he had straight A's and in his bachelor at University of Tennessee, he was the top of his class for electrical engineering. After graduating from University of Tennessee, he went on to work at IBM. After a short while working at IBM, Mark Dean and his colleague has developed a new technology that will allow support devices to be directly connected with the computer. He called it Industry Standard Architecture Systems Bust. This new system allowed disk drives, printers, and monitors to be directly connected to the computer. This allowed for better integration and better efficiency. But Martin didn't stop there. He actually did some research that would lead to the first color PC monitor. And that was huge. But his biggest success, notably or arguably, came in 1999 where he and his colleagues had worked on and created the first gigahertz chip. This microprocessor is able to do a billion calculations a second and this contraption or disinvention break barriers with of what microprocessors and manufacturers and engineers thought was possible. After his bachelor's, he actually went back to school to get his master's degree in 1982 at from Florida Atlantic University and then he went to get his PhD in electrical engineering from Stanford University in 1992. For his revolutionary work, Martin holds three of IBM's original nine patents. In 1996, Martin became an IBM fellow and at the time he was the first African American to receive the honor which was very huge and one of his biggest accomplishments and awards. A year later, he was honored the Black Engineer of the Year President's Award, and he was inducted into the National Inductors Hall of Fame. As a person who wants to change the world, Martin was a role model and a pioneer because he re made me realize that anything is possible, even with our African American descent. In 2004, he was selected as one of the 50 most important black people in research science. And as always, I'm going to leave you a quote. A lot of kids growing up today aren't told that you can be whatever you want to be, he said. There are many obstacles, but there are no limits. So that's something that we can all learn from and all can benefit from. Thank you for checking in. See you next time.